I'm in Gohati, Assam to participate Asia Fashion Week. I just finished my show today. Today is 30th December 2018, nearly end of the year. Uh, this to participate this show, I wasn't sure because I was very busy. I just got back from several trips back home in Bangladesh, and there is so many things for me to do. But uh, to make me do this show, credit goes to INFID Shiliguri because credit goes to uh, Kuntonil Dash Vinodta. These are the people who convinced me because the way they approach you, and uh, I've been following their work for last, I think, four years, and they are really sincere, and I did my graduation in fashion school. I know how important to have the next generation designers who come with the new techniques, knows the grammar of fashion, Anything is a language or any language, anything, any, any kind of education, you need the basic grammar. And that is where the Fashion Institute has a big job. And I think they are doing it in Shiliguri, which is very impressive. And uh, today my show I couldn't have done without the backstage help from the student of INFID Shiliguri. They were absolutely superb. The girls are sincere. They know, I think they know the work I do. It's the work I sh have shown today. It's not I did the design. Before that, there are many steps. Each fabrics of mine is done by the craftspeople and weavers of Bangladesh. So it's so many stage. So, so many people's livelihood. So I just explained to them you know, it's many people. If I could do this show successfully, people like it, like this garments, my design, that means you are giving indirectly support to this wonderful craftspeople who really have magic in their fingers. You know, you give them a support, make them feel they can come out of poverty with dignity, not putting their hand for for many kind of aids, you know, like support. They can come out of, they can be in this world putting their head up and showing the magical fingers they have. And this is what I do. I convince them, you know, to do this work. So there is a place today, like there is a machine-made fabric. At the same time, there is hand-made fabrics. There is a market because uh, I do all natural thing. Whatever I shown today, it's all natural fabrics. What is today is a big market like organic fabric. It's not man-made fabric. Every thread is natural. There was no synthetic. So if you can, if I could explain this like the way I did, if many people does that to the young student. Okay, maybe if I can convince one of them to support their beautiful, because North East is really a gold mine. And I think young generations should use that, not only use synthetic fabrics. Yeah, they can use that, but today is a market. I've been working in Bangladesh since over 20 years. And um, I make a small collection and it's always sold out because I put more my time into development going to uh, uh, like many universities, colleges, speak with this student, motivate them. Please believe what you are doing. Please learn. If I don't know grammar, I couldn't speak or write or read any language, English, Bengali, or whatever, French, Italian, you need the basic guideline. And I'm very impressed with INFID, Shiliguri. They are serious, and they're doing a wonderful job. I hope they keep up with it. Don't change their mind, because you need, you need like any country for development, you need 
doctor, engineers, intellectuals, um, artists, musicians, politicians, they also need designers because none of us could come out without a piece of cloth because that is very important for 21st century. We need to cover ourselves. With that piece of fabric, you can really make social economical development. That is what the colleges has to teach their student. Whatever you want to do, you should know your guideline. You should be focused, you know? It's hard, but it get appreciated, and you can get recognition. I'm a basically, my education, I'm a graduate from London College of Fashion. I have a fellow from many university, but you know that being a fashion designer, people think you don't have to read, don't have, I know literature, I know I read a lot. I get highest uh, academical uh, recognition from my country, which is Bangla Academy Fellow, which is all with very highly thing, because you have to know what is the surrounding, what is the geographical, economical condition of a country, what is the heritage of a country, so I think people like when you have a story, when you, but not only story, but you believe in your story, you believe in thing. So I think I would like the INFID who are doing wonderful work, motivate few students to really appreciate their culture and heritage and everything you have. You know, since I went back and start to do my shows, I always use Bengali music because music is so beautiful. Because I'm from Bengal, I use Bengali music. Every area in Asia, they have beautiful music. When I do a show which is based on Rajasthan or Hyderabad, I use their music because Rajasthan has beautiful music. Telangana has beautiful music because music is part of our life and you know you can promote your work everything you want what you believe it once again my congratulation and best wishes to the wonderful team of INFID Shiliguri I hope they keep it up and they don't change they motivate their student and make them come you know like in our own identity diversified, not copying, you know. Anyone can get inspired by anything. I get inspired by, I go to all the museum, wherever I have, whenever I have time, which country I'm visiting, but that doesn't mean my favorite artist is, you know, abroad is Picasso. I know each piece of Picasso, but I cannot imagine I'm copying Picasso. That should give me inspired. I could inspired by those paintings, those drawing, I could interpret into my design. So this is what the new generation of designers had to understand. And once again, congratulations, all the best to the wonderful team and the student and the student who helped me in the backstage. They just did wonderful, my salute to them.